where did it go? Come on now, talk to me. Your silence is killing me. Hmm. As usual. Hey. Hello. <laughs> okay, okay. What, what about Mr. John? Hmm. Mr. John. He said he has a project at hand that he could not lend us any money. Ah, uh, wait. What about Mr. Felix now? Hmm. That one? Can you imagine that Mr. Felix said to me that it is against his belief to lend money, Mr. Felix? Ah, uh, wait. Is it not the same Mr. Felix? We lent money some time ago when his landlord almost threw him out of the house. Ah, what a wicked word. <laughs> oh, honey, the town crier made an announcement some time ago for about two weeks that the Otaru has paid for all our debts. Which Otaru? Everyone's debt? Which, which money? Which money? Hey, so, what, what are we going to do now? We don't even have Chief Donna's money. And he promised to come back for us today. This life, there is nothing to live for in this life. So I have decided to take my life so that I can live this wicked world. I am tired. I am tired. Eh? You, you want to die and leave me to pay your debt, Abby? You, this wicked man. My debt? <laughs> Did you just say my debt? <laughs> so, it is no longer our debt. It is now my debt, woman. Oh. <laughs> Can you hear that? Chief <laughs> is here. Let's run, let's run. Oh. Where do you think you are running to, you wretched debtors? No, no where, no where. <laughs> Very good. Now, where is my money? Answer me. Do you have my money or not? No, no uh, yes, no. I mean, uh, no, no. And what does she mean? Yes, no, yes, no. You think I left all the way from my home down to this place to listen to this? I am sorry, Chief Donald. We don't have your money now. Things are hard. <laughs> so. I left my beautiful Marsha to this place to listen to excuses. Mm, very well done. Jack, get the wife. Let's get out of here. No, please tell me. Eh? My wife? No. No, no, not my wife. But Chief Donald. You already have my properties and my child with you. <laughs> and you want to take away the only treasure that I have left? No, Chief Donut. No. Please, take me instead. Take me and leave my wife. <laughs> hmm. Very well then. Get him. <laughs> Uh, 
and you, woman, I, Chibdona, shall be back. Get my money ready in three days. Three days. Three days. <laughs> Oh, my husband. What am I going to do now? Where will I go? My child, my husband, my property. What is it that I'm hearing? That uh, Chief Donut came again and went away with your husband? Who? <laughs> hmm. He took all our properties. As if it was not enough. He came back, took my only child, and now my husband. <laughs> Oh, we, are we going to see the king today? Yes, of course. We'll, we'll see him. So what are we waiting for? I really need to see the king. Uh, you know, the king is a very busy person. And he needs to attend to other important personalities. <laughs> uh, will you promise to take me to him as soon as possible? Yes, I did. But I can't go... <laughs> They are empty and dead. But you know I don't have anything. I've given you all that I have. Please yeah. help me. Well, if you say you don't have anything with you again, no problem. But there's always a way. You can scratch my back and I'll scratch your back. You, you mean if I scratch your back, you're going to take me to the king? Of like, course. Like right now? Of course. All right now. So we're going to scratch your back. No, no. You... you Stop! Let me scratch now! I don't mean you should scratch my back like this. I mean... Yeah. You know now... Never! The boy is in your court. Is it how you do what I said or... We'll forget about it. <laughs> please, please come. If, 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 if I do it now... Will you take me to him? Immediately. Bam. No time. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go, let's go now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now you are talking. <laughs> wow. That's a good one. That's a good one. Can we go and see the king now? Eh, hey, woman, I told you before that the king is a very busy man. You can't see him now. You need to give me some time. Boy, you, you promised me if I allow you to sleep with me that you're going to take me to him immediately. Uh, that's true. But like I said before, the king is a very busy man. You have to give me some time. <laughs> Your crying won't help anything. <laughs> Woman, just take care of yourself. <laughs> this money I'm dead <laughs> and if I go to the king's palace uninvited I'm dead <laughs> <laughs> but I'd rather go to the king's palace and die than to die in the arms of chief donut <laughs> <laughs> you 
kindness. Please, please help me. Save my family. Help my child, help my husband. Please help me. <laughs> God, let her come. Woman, what happened to your family? <laughs> Rachel, Rachel Ojo. Ah, Your Highness, you know my name? Of course, I know you. And I've been waiting for a time like this when you come to me with my arms wide open for you to receive all my father's best friend, the King of Owa, has done for you. Oh, I never knew I had a sense to your praises. I was told about the veil. The veil? Yes, your highness. The veil has been broken over 2,000 years ago. And your debt has been paid. Uh, my debt? <laughs> Chief Donut came to our house to request for the money we owe him. <laughs> we, we pleaded with him. <laughs> I promised to pay him in three days time. But he packed all our properties. He <laughs> promised to come back after three days. As he promised, he came back. This time around, he went away with my only child. <laughs> Your Highness, <laughs> two days ago, he came back again. I went away with my husband. <laughs> Please help me. I have nowhere to go. I have no one to help me, Your Highness. Please. <laughs> Chief Duna took all you had because you owe him. Yes, yes, I yes. <laughs> Many years ago, there was a king. He was a great king. He was mighty and rich that all other nations and kings feared him. He was most of all kind and generous. To the poor he gave gold and silver. To those who were wounded, he treated. Those who were sick and diseased, he healed. To the hungry, he gave bread. And to the rejected, he accepted. And to those homeless, he gave shelter. He was a comforter to the broken, a husband to the widow. And it was more and more of this. And his fame traveled all around and the people loved him but guess what those same people killed him he was bruised spat on and murdered like a thief right before the face of his beloved mother this was a great wickedness and a sin unforgivable but this great king in his love and mercies Turned his pains, his suffering, his wealth and painful death to a ransom for our debts and all we ever owe. What manner of love is this? Indeed, a manner of love only him knows and understands. He gave us all that we be no more debtors or slaves to any man. Ah. Uh. He was indeed a great king. But I'm not from Owen. The people of Owen obeyed and followed his principles. That was why he paid their debt. I'm not even worthy for him to pay my debt. I'm a cheat, a liar. 
<laughs> and even today, I <coughs> I committed adultery. <laughs> and this is where we get it all wrong. The great king said in Romans chapter 10 verse 12, For there's no difference between the people of Owa and the people of all other towns. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. How do I know this great king? In verse 10 it says, With the heart man believeth, and with the mouth confection is made unto salvation. And I'll be so free in ignorance all this why ah my life <laughs> Your Highness please may I be excused I have an unfinished business to handle <laughs> Go well my daughter and don't forget all power has been given to you Thank you your highness Oh, here she comes. You've made it all easy for me. <laughs> you brought yourself like a piece of lamb for the slaughter. Oh, you came with my money. <laughs> Chief Donut, or whatsoever you are called, I am here to take my husband and all that you've collected from me. What? God, on whose authority do you speak? Chief Donald, return all you've taken from me right now and right here. Look at this one. Don't you know a borrower is a slave to the lender? You belong to me, your family, and everything you ever worked for in this life <laughs> I am not a debtor my debt will be paid 2000 years ago I'm no longer a slave to sin I have been redeemed by the great king oh she knows who told her who told her Jack Go get her husband and child and all we have ever taken from her. We are deeply sorry. You better be fast about it. I have suffered, abused, molested and robbed because of ignorance. But now I have come to know him and the power of his restoration. Just like me, so many of you have been bound and chained by the devil. Just like scripture says in John 10 verse 10, For the thief cometh not, but to steal, kill, and to destroy. But I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. And as many of you that are here and are ready to be free from the shackles of the devil, lift up your hands and say after me, Lord Jesus, I come to you today just as I am. I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that you are my Lord and personal Savior. From today, I say no to sin. I say no to the devil. I am born again. <laughs> 